Hey guys, welcome to Aether Gazer, and let's look at some tips for fast progression. I know some of you have gone through all of these steps, but more or less, I'd like to remind you of some. If you haven't seen them, I will go through a step-by-step -step on fast progression and on leveling up of your roster. Okay, so to start, um, you won't have... A problem really with energy to start this game especially on day one and day two the game will have a lot of energy or coolant for you to consume so that you can clear and level up your character so first few days it won't be a problem but after probably the first week I think we'll be having an energy shortage already so that out of the way we proceed to your roster so First, um, when I was starting out last uh, night or this morning, my roster wasn't like this. I only started with really three characters that I decided that I want to bring as my main team or a temporary, uh, temporary main team probably. So I went with Dark Mistletoe as my main DPS. I actually had uh, Rahu already. Uh, I was able to pull for Rahu at the start. So I got lucky. So I had Rahu. I had Mistletoe. But the other one was also Surefire. So Surefire is part of the group because I used this this one. The, the ultimate chain uh, skill chain. Uh, because this is, they are actually her and Rahu are paired together with the ultimate skill chain. So I used that roster. Um, I, it was actually okay, It uh, especially to start. I didn't have a problem with that roster. But eventually I opted for other characters, uh, obviously, because uh, it really lacks DPS. But... To start, you will actually need to have a fix on your first three, then decide and develop them. Not develop them too much, uh, but try to develop them as far as possible until you get the characters that you really, really want. Okay, so more or less your first roster will be your main DPS, which is your main character or team leader, a secondary DPS, and probably one for support. I actually nearly went with uh with title song here so at some point i disregarded I, I didn't need the healer um to start so i went with those three that i mentioned already okay so let us take a look at yeah. what things that you need to look out for okay so uh, let's start with the stats. You have here um, the gifts here. If you have gifts, this raises their affinity. So try to give out those gifts if you have them already. Um, as far as stats is concerned, you will have to level up your characters and s limit break them every 10 levels. So right now I'm at level 40. I'll have to limit break this. You'll have to, you know, um, farm for resources for this. It's not really a problem. So, again, try to level your character, level up your characters the same. So, uh, uh, try to take them to 40, then to 50 um, simultaneously or one after the other because you don't want to have a poor leveled up team while one is so strong. So, Again, that is for your stats. For the skills, I would suggest that you also level this up by fives. Um, I don't, I'm not sure which is the priority skill at, at some point, but eventually you'll have to increase the level of your skills, especially for damage dealing and also for other effects of their skills. Okay, so... Before I forget, let me go back to the skills first. So before you build a team, again, please try to consider the skill chains as well. It will really come in handy in terms of additional damage, especially in the early stages. So if you don't have 
skill chains amongst the first group of team of first group of characters that you have or your main team it's not a problem but please consider using skill chains if you have them okay so let's move on to the skills so again for the skills please make sure that you evenly level them up you'll need them for dps and all the effects that they have moving next to the access key the access key is basically their weapon and it will be paired with a functor so the functor here let's go back to the functor the functor here is connected to the access key so you'll have to roll for this in the banner but if you don't have the best functors yet you might want to consider even the lowest rarity the most uh, the ones that you you have in you know in uh, in availability you can actually use this as uh, to start because again you will need to at least give them more stats um even if it's not the optimal functor that you have so use the lowest rarity that you have try to transcend the lowest rarity because you have a lot of copies i'm sure and moving on to your sigils the sigils as well you won't really you won't have the best sigils in the game so what i used are the common ones which is this one for hp I used another one for attack so th this one is these are your starting sigils you don't have these sigils yet the the best sigils for each character by the way if you want to take a look at the best sigils for each character just uh, click on the recommended sigils and it will appear there so as you can see recommended sigils are actually available you don't have to you know you don't have to worry about their placement as long as you equip them uh, by threes they will activate let's let's say for this one set effect this is a set of three then the effect will activate so again use the the best suited sigil that you have you don't be picky about sigils um, you eventually farm for the best sigil for your characters and also don't forget to check out the recommended sigil once you have you know once you are at the stage wherein you're farming for the right sigil already so we'll go to that in a while okay so after sigils you have to take a look at the codes the codes are basically your skill tree as you unlock some of the skills the access key sigils stats level up codes will actually eventually open so i have unlocked already for the codes and more or less i would recommend that um you can th there are several imprints that you can choose from so if you want to activate a certain sigil for example imprint all it will actually activate the three that you have in this area if you want to remove um remove imprint it will remove all obviously so you have to make sure that you are using you you know try to check the best um the best code that you want to activate and imprint because you'll be using that and that is going to be active the others will be deactive uh, the, the deactivated if you don't use them and if you don't imprint on them so choose wisely on the selected code and imprint that you'll be using so that is it for the roster um i think i've covered everything that you need to pay attention to the next up is going to be this one the meow you'll be having this this one memtastic to start um just just make sure that you equip with equip memtastic with all of these um, abilities before you use her in the battle with your team because these are additional effects as well and stats so 
I hope that you are actually paying attention to that. And also the last one to, to pay attention to for fast progression is going to be farming. So sigils will start off is or we'll start off with challenges. So for, for challenges, you won't be going through this until you are at the higher levels. These are good um, farming areas, especially for the 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 what do you call this uh currency that is specific to a specific shop so again reserve this for you know higher levels like level 30 or level 40 of your characters for sigils this one is be is actually used for for leveling up your sigil you can farm it here and for the sigil itself that you need you will have to select which sigil you want to get okay so don't be confused you can select then you can farm you can actually open um you can farm a stage wherein the high you know the the, the sigil that you need will be dropping in that stage so you can farm any sigil here as long as you select them from the selector before you farm so take note of that do not forget to check that out and for the supplies obviously these are going to be your resources that you'll be needing for leveling up your characters um farm as needed do not farm blindly and just waste your energy farm as needed guys and for the main story this is going to be important as you open up the main story this is this is actually normal um then you have hard already once you've opened a certain portion of normal but take note as you progress through especially if you go to the hard stages you'll be farming for a shifted star this is where i got additional currency to summon for the other characters that i have the ones that i'm using so you'll have them here you actually will be farming them here um higher the hard stages are going to yield you more or better you know shifted star more more in terms of um of number the normal stages are a bit lower in terms of the shifted star that they will be giving you let's see at uh, this is at seven already so shifted star is at 50 while hard is usually at 100 so Again, don't forget to farm the main story so that you could get your shifted star. And also, don't forget to check out all of the red red icons here that you need to check out, especially for the uppermost portion, because those are usually rewards, uh, missions, weekly missions that you need to claim because you already achieved a certain you know a certain task so don't forget those as well those will contribute really to you know your fast progression for the day um, again this game is very grindy it will take a lot of your time and you'll have really have to spend a lot of time playing this game moving forward so that is it for fast progression I hope you got that it doesn't really matter who what team you start off with because you don't really need the the best team to start off with you can you can get those characters that you want eventually down the line so again guys um comment down in the comment section um in terms of your progress how far you have been and thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here